Marcus Rioc came into the den looking for a maximum £50,000 investment. He was offering 15% of his company. I specialise in teaching children Mandarin Chinese through an after-school club programme called the Chinese Dragons Club. But remember, Marcus needs all the cash he's asking for or he'll leave empty-handed. Dragons, or as we say in Mandarin Chinese, Ni Hao Long! My name is Marcus Rioc, and in June 2006, I founded Dragons in Europe. I'm here today to ask for a £50,000 stake for a 15% stake in my company. I specialize in teaching Mandarin Chinese to children through an after school program called the Chinese Dragons Club. Since we've begun, we've taught in more than 200 primary and preparatory schools and I now employ a team of 42 teachers nationwide. China, as we all know, is the land of opportunity, and it's important for children to learn this wonderful language when they're young to get ahead. Earlier this year, I self-published my first textbook for children, Primary School Chinese. Three further titles will be available later on in the year. So what do the numbers look like after three years? We have cumulative net profits of 62,000 pounds, which equates to a 24% profit margin. I want to expand this company. I would like to employ an additional full-time member of staff and also to move into office space to allow for classroom teaching to become the number one provider of Mandarin Chinese teachers in the UK. Today we're going to sing you a song. Marcus has delivered a confident and colourful pitch for £50,000 investment to expand his Mandarin Chinese teaching business. But the entrepreneur seems to have got off on the wrong foot with Julie Meyer. I noticed when you were making your pitch, you were looking almost exclusively at Schaff. So I was wondering, is that, do you, would you like Schaff to invest in this? Or do I make you nervous? Or? No, I think that was uh, uh, an oversight from me. Many apologies, Julie. No, just curious. I would like you both to uh, invest in this product if possible. Marcus, why are you dressed like the court jester? Um, I feel that teaching Mandarin Chinese has to be taught with an element of fun. I go in to schools dressed as a dragon, as I call it, to actually show children about Chinese culture, which involves magic tricks, it involves uh, music, it involves teaching them basic Chinese, and it's important for ch children to actually see that, to feel it, to want to actually learn this wonderful language. Marcus is clearly passionate, but will his enthusiasm for his business rub off on the dragons? Julie Meyer is keen to question him further. Marcus, how, how do you know about Chinese? Um, I actually uh, spent six or seven years in the city. I didn't feel passionate about what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I decided to um, take a career break. Mm -hmm. So I went and lived in Shanghai for six months. Um, I spent that time with a family that didn't speak any English. I didn't speak any Chinese. So it was what you call a hill start. Mm -hmm. I came back and it was from there that I came up with this business idea. So, what's the state of UK language learning today? How many of the um, primary schools can you actually find some Mandarin taught? Very small percentage. Okay. There are 23,000 primary schools in the UK. Okay. And there were, I would say, less than 1%. Yeah, but what we still don't understand is you go to schools and you, you basically set up a club, okay? Yeah. And you're successful. Then the school makes it part of their curriculum. Is that you out of the scene then? No, because we would provide the teaching. Heads, quite rightly, are very sceptical. So they need people like us to go in and say, I will show you that this works. Because if you compare the UK to the States, for example, we are way behind. And my company believes passionately about okay. making the case. Marcus clearly is a man on a mission, but he'll need to convince the Dragons that there's also a healthy profit to be made from his passion. 
So when did your company start trading again? Was that 06? June 2006. So you've got two years audited accounts behind you? We started as a sole trader. Okay. We have just, as of this year, April, uh, become a limited company. Okay. We have three years of trading accounts. Okay. And have you traded profitably over the past couple of years? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and actually, forecast revenue is actually hitting um, £27,000 at the end of year four. Year five, I'm forecasting net profits of £45,000. And then year six, I'm forecasting £68,000, as I said in my pitch, of net profits. For a business in its sixth year to be only making £68,000, I don't get that. Is that really all you want us to run a nice lifestyle business? That's a £68,000 net profit after paying salaries. Does a desire to be rich motivate you? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But I also want to be realistic, OK? We are but teaching what, what's, Mandarin... What's more important, the desire to be rich or the desire to run this business? Desire to, a desire to actually be able to provide a really, really exciting product which benefits mass society. The Dragons have given Marcus a grilling for his lack of business ambition. Julie Meyer has come to a decision. For me to get excited about investing in this, there's got to be a kind of rocket effect. You've got to say, I can do this on my own, mm -hmm. right? But what I think I can do with that 50K, with your involvement and so forth, my lifestyle business, which goes like that, can go poof, mm. right? Absolutely. And I don't hear that. And I right. didn't hear that. But I think, honestly, Marcus, I think this is a lifestyle business for you. And I think for that reason, I'm out. OK, thank you very much, Julie, anyway. I really appreciate it. Marcus has lost Julie Meyer. Will Shafrazul rescue his hopes of investment? You've basically sort of won me over to the idea of learning Chinese, OK? I'm just running through a couple of figures. If you just give me... Shaf, if I may. Yes. I believe that what you may be interested to know about is what happened earlier this year in Scotland. In 0708, we had 35 hours worth of workshops. This year, we had 350 hours. Uh, the heads of the schools that I work with in Dumfrieshire, but also in Edinburgh, were fantastic in helping me to actually expand this. And we believe we've got a really, really interesting foothold in Scotland now, and that can only grow. Marcus knows that everything depends on him convincing Shaf Razul to invest, but has he done enough? To, to be honest with you, I, I, you know, I understand you're passionate about the business. The only thing that troubles me, mm -hmm. okay, is I'm doing this as purely as an investment, okay, and you've done a great pitch, and I'm just trying to make this stack together, but unfortunately, I just can't seem to do it. And on that basis, I'm out. Okay, well, I'm thank sorry. you both very much. I really appreciate the time. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks. It's not about building small businesses. We're here to do big.